swing issue, okay? So, main thing we'll look at now in terms of setup. The left hand one, as you can see there, with that sort of quite a little squatty kind of yeah. knee flex. Could we get a little bit less knee flex now? Probably, but we're certainly getting taller in the legs. And rather than sort of having our spine up there, we're getting a bit more kind of tip over with the, yeah. with the body. It's about getting your sort of, basically your chest to kind of point down to where the ball is, okay? If the ball was up here sort of level with your chest, like a baseball shot or a tennis shot, your chest would face the impact point there. Yeah. You wouldn't have your chest facing up here and <laughs> or reach yeah. out that way. So it's about getting your body in, like I say, in that more athletic position. And then what I tend to work on is get people to just work the engine better, yeah? There's some things we can sort of just go into to, towards the end, sort of just try and see how we can sort of work with what the arms do. But generally speaking, the engine needs to work better, okay? So the body on this, when the club goes back, only so far, partly because, like I said, the knees being to squat down, you couldn't mm. really move as efficiently, okay? As you swing through the golf ball here now, you can see that's basically your follow-through. He's not moved. Most of your weight, because we know that position there, is going to be on your back foot. And the club sort of just finishes quite low around your left shoulder here yeah. now. And yeah, to be fair, you had some reasonable shots from there, but it was an inconsistent way of long-term hitting the golf ball. Mm. Yeah, You'd find that if you just kept hitting golf ball after golf ball after golf ball with that technique, you would get better, mm. but there would still be that element of the bad shot being really bad. <laughs> yeah, where you yeah. top it, scuff it, hit the sideboard or whatever it may be. Okay, So being this sort of taller leg position now we can move our body better club goes back a little bit further okay and we'll talk about how your arms are going to slightly adjust as we go forward okay but they're generally getting a longer backswing here now as we come through the golf ball you can see your right foot now already starting to move so your weight is shifting and we finish kind of over there so more of a swing has that foot come through fully no has it come through more yeah so it's just about from there to there the net, like evolution of your golf swing yeah so here's kind of like I know, the first time monkeys is that we're moving through bit yeah, by yeah. bit by bit to get to where we want to get to, where the golf swing now is finishing a bit more on your left side, and that's the boys going up in the air nicely there as your weight is going towards target. And like with anything, if you're going to throw a ball or hit a tennis racket or a tennis ball, that kind of thing, you kind of move your body in that direction. Throwing a rugby ball, you kind of be moving that way, yeah? What we don't want is you trying to get under the ball by either bending your knees keeping your head down, mm. leaning back, trying to scoop it, and all the things that, unfortunately, most golfers, when they go to the range, get top of the mates, yeah? Mm. We hear so many times people say, oh, keep your head down, get under the ball there, keep your arm on the ball, or keep your arms straight, and all these things, and we see so much tension, because they're trying to lock their head so it can't move, lock this arm so it can't bend, and then you're tense anyway, as you said, now you're gripping on for dear life, now try and, you're like, <coughs> I can't move, and that's why a lot of people... Told that to, to keep my eye on the ball, actually. Yeah. The one that... Um, it actually makes me laugh sometimes when you hear someone say, if you think when someone stood on a golf course on a range hitting golf balls, if I'm stood here now, that's the putter, if I was stood here now about to play my shot, most people, if they were going to give you help, would be sort of stood somewhere over there. So where you are there now, okay? If I said to you now, Dan, where are my eyes looking? At the ball. No, nope, they're looking over there. You can't oh, see my eyes, can you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so when you were looking at the ball there, Unless they're doing this and looking underneath <laughs> your eyes, how do they know? Yeah, they just think, oh, because you've mishit it, you must have taken your eyes off the golf yeah. ball. We've got images of like tour players, like I can name some names that you may have heard of, like Dustin Johnson and Colin Morikawa and Xander Schauffele, who like won the US Opens and major events this year, mm. hitting shots, looking thirty yards down the fairway, and the club is the golf ball, mm. not looking at the ball. Yeah, mm. but they know their body's going to be moving and flowing in such a way. So when you try and keep something dead still and not move it. What often happens is the more speed you put, the club works this way, you move back and away. Yeah. So then what people then see is your head kind of moving back or lifting. Oh, you lifted your head. Well, lifting your head is doing that. Yeah. <laughs> no one's ever done a golf swing and done that. Yeah. You your neck. <laughs> yeah. So if your head's moving out of the way, it's usually because you're trying to keep it still or keep it down. Okay. If you allow things to move through, and that movement we showed you there with that club on your left foot and getting your body to move like this, yeah? Mm where you turn to face the screen or face the mirror in the bath or whatever, that movement there is going to give you a really good kind of feel of what your body wants to do. Now, you have to be in a position to do that. If you're too squatting the knees, it's going to be difficult, yeah? So keeping the legs a little bit just flexed as a sort of natural position and then sort of bowing from the hips mm. is going to look at, okay? So that's going to be the main thing we're going to focus on in terms of today's session or you practicing, okay? Just a sort of a, a bit to go into now. We'll look and see how it goes as we go through. I'm going to put it on this video, which I'm going to send through to you anyway. As you go back, what we're going to look to try and do is get your arms to work up a little bit higher. Mm. Basically, your arms and the goal swing have one role, and that's to lift the club in the air and drop the club back down again. Your body rotates, the arms lift and drop. 
your arm here getting quite low across your chest is sort of someone who's again not being able to move the body before mm. and swinging the club with your arms around this way yeah and that's why sometimes you do f struggle to find the ground okay so we'll look at that in a bit more detail going forward okay but that's going to be something to look for as a as a guide we'd want to see your left arm kind of up over your right shoulder there so your left arm and your shoulder plane should be sort of in a similar kind of line there yeah Okay, does that make sense? So, yeah. yeah. yeah so, in terms of the movement, in terms of the body positioning, and I think generally what we see static changes are like that. If you just say to someone, well, have less knee flex on, can do that. <laughs> That's easy. Then you've got to work on the movement, as we said. This will come through more with practice in terms of getting that finished position. At the moment, now you're probably, I'd say, roughly halfway there. Mm. So, with a bit of practice at home or at the driving range or whatever, you get a chance to go and do it, okay? You'll get this movement better and better and better. And then it'll become something that just, it will just happen naturally. You don't have to think about doing it, which you're, currently you probably have to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah there's oh, there's a lot of, a lot of yeah, yeah. Yeah. your brain's like, oh, which yeah. is why I'm going to say, we'll, we'll get another 10 or 15 swings with the body moving this way, and then we'll show you how to work the arms, okay? Don't probably show you now, because until the body's working better, oh, yeah. I don't want to add too many things, but just to sort of give you a, here's the next stage kind of thing, yeah. that's what we're going to be looking at, okay? Yeah, right, let's have a few more shots, everybody, okay? Very good.